6.30 a.m. and an Australian Border Force compliance team is on their way to execute a search warrant on a property located on a citrus farm outside the town of Leeton. Because of the variety of citrus fruits that are grown in this particular region, the work is available all year round and that is uh, a big attraction for illegal workers. Well, that's all right. Intel suggests that seven unlawful non-citizens may be residing on the farm, and the early morning operation has been planned to catch the unaware occupants. Probably lights are on, get up, please. Quickly, get out, yeah. Do one in position, please. Bravo, is everyone in position? Copy. Officers need to act swiftly in order to prevent anyone from escaping. Immigration search warrant. Immigration, open the door, Ma please. Is that you? Entry needs to be gained as soon as possible so that any persons of interest can be detained as a shadowy figure hovers behind the front door. Immigration, search warrant, open the door. In Brisbane. A detector dog is being run across the luggage of a flight from Singapore. <laughs> Officer Suzanne will recognise any change in her dog's behaviour as an indication that he's picked up a suspicious scent. Oh boy! Good boy. Good boy. The owners of the bag of interest are taken aside and an X-ray is showing that it contains a large inconsistency. Interesting to see what it turns out to be. Do either of you speak English? Yeah. No English at all. No deal. All right. Okay. With the help of a translation booklet, it is confirmed that the couple are not declaring anything. No. The passengers have acknowledged that it's their luggage. They pack the bags, and everything inside the bags is theirs. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. This one. But first, Officer Kerry is interested in the contents of an unusually shaped package. What is this? What is in here? <coughs> Sword. <laughs> yep, I understand that. I think he means a sword. Did that look all right in the x-ray, normal? Officers are satisfied that it is a ceremonial sword and it's given the okay? all clear. I'm happy with that. But when attention is turned to the couple's suitcase of concern... This one? Yours? What is discovered is right. no laughing matter. Holy moly, what is all this? Wait, please, wait. When arriving in Australia, foreign passengers often carry traditional foodstuffs from their home country. It is crucial these items are declared so that biosecurity officers can ensure they do not contain any pests or diseases. You've actually got things crawling. And see all the black things is, okay. is from the insects? It's not good. Today in Sydney, Officer Denise has taken aside a family arriving from Samoa. And what, are you de what do you have? What are you declaring today? They are carrying a large cooler box full of food, but are only declaring two items. Taro and coconut cream. Taro and coconut cream, yeah. And that's it? Yeah, definitely. Lovely, all right. But officers become suspicious when an X-ray of the box suggests there may be many more foodstuffs that they have failed to mention. Right, so we're going to need to... Okay. OK. Once opened, the first package contains cooked taro, a food staple in the Pacific Islands. But Officer Denise is unable to identify what she discovers next, and she immediately calls her supervisor. Um, can you that one? What's this? Oh, I think that's you. You think it's what? Eel. Eel? Yeah. Oh, I see. It's a big, yeah, it it's is. a big it's eel. eel. It's an a eel wrapped up, eel. yeah. That's, that's now, just have to be careful of the teeth there. They look very sharp. And that's another one? Is that a baby eel? Oh, I'm not sure. I think so. As officers continue their search, they discover even more undeclared food. Oh, that's it's octopus. Octopus has got yeah. suckers, eh? 
But just when they thought they'd seen the worst of it, yet another potentially high-risk item is unwrapped. What have we got in the bottles? Can you tell me what that is, please? An Australian Border Force compliance team is about to enter a property they believe may be housing seven unlawful non-citizens. Immigration, search warrant, open the door. Hi, how are you? Um, just one sec, excuse me. Let's get you to sit down, please. Anthony Giselle, start searching, please. So these are from the Department of Immigration. We have a search warrant for this property. Hello. Five men are located throughout the house and escorted to the lounge room. I'm detaining you all under Section 189 of the Migration Act as I have reasonable suspicion that you are an unlawful non-citizen. But officers now have concerns that two other men are unaccounted for. Two people, two people, where are the other people? Here, last, last room. The man indicates that there may be more people residing in a granny flat at the rear of the premises. Immigration search warrant, please open the door. Movement within the granny flat confirms Hello. that there is someone inside. Guys, I'll just get everyone to knock on the doors and windows for now. Immigration, open the Immigration, door. Immigration, open the door. Open the door, Immigration. It's probably their hope that we will simply give up and go away, but that is not going to happen. The situation at the moment is that the officers have identified that there is an occupant to this dwelling, but they are refusing entry at the moment. An Australian Border Force compliance team is urgently searching for two persons of interest. Officers believe they may be hiding inside this granny flat. Immigration, search warrant. But the occupants are refusing to open the door. So a lock expert is brought in. Doors are open. Okay, fantastic. Okay, Dave, the door is open. Immigration search warrant. Immigration search warrant. Immigration search warrant. We're inside the premises. Immigration search warrant. Okay, look for manhole. Yep. Immigration search warrant. Hello, sir. Where is he? Immigration. We found him just here. What's he doing? He's sitting, just sitting in the toilet. Hello, sir. You need to get up. Immigration. He meant you. Let's check this one. This way. This way. A uh, place. Okay. I've seen who speaks any English. Can someone get an interpreter, please? Yes, sir. Yep. Interpreter on the phone. Okay. We'll bring him out here and you guys continue searching. Yep, sure. For the others. Okay. This way, please, sir. This way. Sir, this way. This way. Okay, While so he is the detained, room. there is still no sign of the other missing man. So the search is intensified while the rest of the group is identified and questioned about their immigration status. All right, can you tell me if you have a visa? Do you have a visa? Me here. No. OK, all right. Suddenly, outside, someone makes a run for it. Stop! Stop! Runner. There he is. Stop! we got a police here, stop! Biosecurity officers are inspecting a box belonging to a family arriving from Samoa. All right. Uh, that's breadfruit. That's out. Some of the food was declared. However, several of the items, including this eel, may be prohibited. And more traditional food is being found. What have we got in the bottles? Can you tell me what that is, please? Mm. Not sure. sure. I didn't pack it. The man says one of his travelling companions packed the box and she is called over to explain. Could you please tell me what this is? Paua. In the, in the skin and thicker. Like a paua. Paua is the traditional name given to edible sea snails. But for biosecurity officers, it's not the snails that may pose a risk. 
What's it in? What's the liquid? Oh, it's just, it's just a sea water. Sea water? Okay. The meat in the bottles was seashell meat or clam meat, which in itself is not a risk, but unfortunately it's preserved in seawater and seawater requires an import permit because seawater often contains the larvae of other creatures which can grow up and become pests. Okay, we do have a little bit of a problem. Yeah. Your eel is okay. What you can't bring in, you can't bring this in like this. Oh. Yeah, because it's seawater, it's not the shellfish, it's the seawater. Yeah, that's the problem. Both items will be seized and destroyed. Thank you very much. We can tell them what they can and can't bring in, so next time they won't bring them in. Holy moly, what is all this? Australian Border Force officers have discovered an enormous quantity of undeclared pills in the luggage of this Chinese couple. They're all saying that they're some sort of dietary supplements. A swab test of the tablets indicates that they do not contain illicit substances. Nothing. We got like calcium, fish oil. I have no idea what this one is. But the passengers aren't off the hook, as this amount of product needs to be declared. Is this for you? You take? You take? Oh, uh, we have to go there. Uh, yeah. For you too? Yeah, yeah. Wow, this is a lot. Just to make you live longer, yeah. look better. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. The bag contains nothing else but health supplements. And due to the overwhelming amount, officers are beginning to suspect that it may be for resale and that the couple deliberately didn't declare it to avoid paying any possible duty. They're saying it's for personal use, but this much is a lot for personal use and you can only bring in three months supply of personal use stuff. And a clue has been discovered at the bottom of the bag which could lead to finding out exactly what is going on. We found a business card in their luggage. The passengers have indicated that this person's outside. Um, so we're going to go outside and have a chat to this person to try and establish what their association is with the people and what their association is with the tablets. Attempts will be made to locate the mystery man outside in the arrivals terminal. While in Melbourne, officers have just begun to search the bags of this man and they have some major concerns. So I've got a New Zealand gentleman who's just arrived from the Philippines from a short trip. So we've had a quick look through his bags. I've done an x-ray and from the x-ray it looks like there might be something concealed in the bag. We don't know what it is yet. The man's reason for travel also seems a little unusual. He lives here, he lives in Perth. He went to the Philippines for a business trip. He's planning on building a hotel in Perth and possibly Adelaide as well. Officers suspect he may be up to something illegal, and this only increases when he changes his story. So far the passenger has said that he went to the Philippines um, to look at the buildings there, but he's changed his story and said he's more after the service in the Philippines, in the hotels there. Officer Jared continues to scrutinise the X-ray image, and he now has little doubt that a large amount of organic material okay. is concealed in I'm the saying. bag's lining. Yeah, so from the different angle you can definitely see something there. So we'll go in and test it now and try and find out what the substance is. An Australian Border Force compliance team has detained six men they suspect to be unlawful non-citizens. May I ask you, do you work on this farm? and a seventh man is fleeing into an adjoining field. Stop! Stop! Run up. There he is. Stop! we got a police here! Stop! No chasing. Oh, he fell. Oh, he's failed. Fallen. David, I think we've got one of on. Yeah, copy that. I don't think he's OK. He's hurt himself. We don't chase people who are absconding from premises. As you can see, it's, it's very, very dark out here, so there are a lot of dangers while the local police take up the search. Where did he have gone from? Extensive interviews have been completed determining the immigration status of the other six farm workers. 
No talking. Just no talk. Right now, we have confirmed that uh, all six of the people are unlawful non-citizens and don't, they don't hold visas. The men will now be transported to immigration detention facilities, where they will be processed for immediate removal from Australia. In Brisbane, Australian Border Force officers have just located this man outside in the arrivals area. They believe he is somehow connected to a Chinese couple who have been stopped with a suitcase full of undeclared tablets. Yeah, our theory is that it's for him to sell here. Is that your business card? Do you work for this company? No, we're not working. You don't work no. for us? Man reveals that he is the couple's son and he backs up his parents' claims that their enormous pile of health supplements is definitely not for resale. It's all the personal use, you know, even you... Doesn't matter. Over... Pers if it's personal use, you have a $900 limit. Oh. So something will have to be paid on that. But the, we are the three together. No, you didn't travel with them. So at this stage, if there's no duty, GST on it is just $257. Would you pay the $257? Okay. If there's duty on that, it may push it up higher. Um, yeah, so then, that you're willing pay, to pay that? Yeah, because my parents need it. They need it stuff. Okay. Yeah. No worries. The man pays the tax on behalf of his parents and the family is now free to leave. However, in Melbourne, this man isn't going anywhere as officers suspect he's attempting to transport narcotics hidden in his luggage. It felt rather heavy, so Jared uh, x-rayed the bag and it looked like there was a concealment in the lining of the bag. Yeah, so from the different angle you can definitely see something there. So we'll go in and test it now and try and find out what the substance is. And English is your first language? Yes. Because officers believe there is something illegal inside the bag, the man has read his rights and will be taken to a private room. Would you like a legal practitioner present? Uh, yes, yes, so might as well. Yep, it's up to you, you don't have to, it's totally up to you. Yeah, my no, I yep. might as well, if that's my legal right. Okay, no worries, so we'll arrange for that. All right, so did you understand the rights provided to you? To a certain degree, yes. Okay, what didn't you understand? Uh, I mean, what's, you haven't said anything. Okay, yep, I'll explain that to you. So the issue we have is this bag over here um, and possibly the laptop bag there appear to have something concealed inside them. It's consistent with a possible narcotic concealment or illegal drug concealment. What we're going to do is we're going to repack all this, search it again under tape, um, then we'll conduct some testing. Uh, test it to see if it is a border controlled drug or an illegal narcotic um, and then we'll go from there. The man has remained incredibly calm through the whole process. He's even told officers that he's worried about missing his next flight. Once in the room, he's given an opportunity to contact a lawyer and then officers can begin testing the bag to see if there are any traces of narcotics. The first test of the bag's lining gives a negative result. Doesn't mean there's nothing in there, but yeah, nothing at the moment. In Melbourne, a New Zealand citizen has been taken to a private room because officers are confident one or more of his bags may have a concealment. So at this stage we don't know what's inside it, uh, we just think it's a border controlled drug so what we'll do is we'll get into it, um, cut it open, drill it and then conduct some further testing to find out what the actual substance is. The first swab test was negative but after removing the lining of the bag a section is located wrapped in carbon paper and layers of plastic. A swab is taken and this test result is what the officers expected. 
Uh, this is the end result of the uh, nick test. We've put a small sample of the uh, substance in the bottom of this and as you can see by the, the colour, green means heroin, which is what's here, and that's, that's as green as you're going to get. That was instantly went green, so it's, uh, it's definitely a, a good sample of heroin. Further deconstruction of the bag reveals this is a large haul. The large grey bag has, we removed the whole side of it and there's 1.8 kilos, so there's two of those in the bag. So we're looking at at least 3.6 kilos in that bag. And it's not the only bag that has a narcotic concealment. Plus we've got the laptop bag, which I suspect has maybe at least another half a kilo in it. We're not going to do anything with that. We're going to let the federal police use that um, as they want. If they want us to test it, we will. And we're still just going through the third bag and we don't know if there's any concealment in that. The whole time, the New Zealand man has remained incredibly calm. Yeah, he's cool. Like he's just sitting back, just taking notes. You know, he's been informed of his rights and yeah, even when it come up positive for what we got, it's um, yeah, he's just sitting back like it's a normal day at the office. The Australian Federal Police arrive and arrest the man on the belief of importing a border controlled drug. And if found guilty, he will spend considerable time in jail. For Australian Border Force officers, it's been a very satisfying day. So yeah, very, very good haul. <laughs>